5 into 2 legends, but let's get started. So first we have, of course, Wings of Fire to Dragonette Prophecy. To be a big wings, his wings look surprisingly small to me. Not to be mean, but let's put this as a 5 out of 10 because it's a classic. Next we have The Lost Air. If you don't already know, Shinami seems a little bossy, but seeing this POV was great. 6 out of 10 since it was better than book 1. Forgot to mention, Underwater looks so great. In The Hidden Kingdom, Glory does seem more than a lazy rain wing. Being possibly the strongest rain wing or strongest of the dragon nuts of clay was in Fireproof. The cover does look a little bright, so I'll give this another 7 out of 10. The cover on The Dark Secret looks crazy, with what scenes of an erupting volcano and fleeing night wings. The sky also looks epic, so this has to be an 8 out of 10. Last of the first arc, we have The Brightest Night. Sunny looks majestic in this cover. She does look sunny if you ask me. The mountains in the background look very cool, and so does the whole sand kingdom. 9 out of 10, because this isn't the best one we got. Then we have Moon Rising. Being one of the few Nightwings who actually can read minds and tell the future makes her POV very interesting. The Wings of Fire covers keep getting more and more improved, so let's give this an 8 out of 10. Just want to inform you that the next two covers pictures will be very blurry because I couldn't find two good ones that aren't blurry. Here we have Winter Turning. Winter is my favorite character in the Wings of Fire series. His POV was great and the most interesting book so far to me. Another 8 out of 10 for this cover. And for his POV. First of all, I'm actually on book 10 right now. Don't ask me how I read fast. Anyways, here we have Escaping Peril. I never expected Peril to be a main character. The fact that her father is a rain wing kind of surprises me. 8 out of 10 again. Because Scarlet in the background also looks cool. Entering the non-blur zone. In Towns of Power, Turtle and Anemone honestly don't look bad. But like Book 3, it is a little bright. So this is a 7 out of 10. Entering yet another blur zone. Because yet another two covers I couldn't find unless they were blurry. I didn't really think in Darkness of Dragons that Kid Lee would be in the ruins of the Night Kingdom. I was thinking in the desert. The background is very really cool though, and it's also very creepy. Like book 5, a 9 out of 10. Also like book 5, this isn't the best one we got. I haven't read The Lost Continent yet, so I don't have much to say about Blue. But the palaces in the background look exactly like the ones in book 1 to me. Again, it's a little bright like book 1 and 9, but just because the color choice blue has, it's an 8 out of 10 instead of a 7 out of 10. Entering non-blur zone. Just like book 11, I don't have much to say about Cricket because they haven't read The Hive Queen. But inside the hive looks amazing, and I don't have anything else to say, but a 9 out of 10 for this one, and yet again, not the best one we have. In the poison jungle, I can predict what, of course, the poison jungle looks like. With all these plants and leaves, another 9 out of 10. And again, not the best one we have. Snowfall and Linux look like twins in this cover on the dangerous gift. Even though we have lots of trees in the background, I barely notice them and I think we need more wildlife. I won't blame them, they're ice wings. And no one of them are used to plants, unless they're covered in snow. An 8 out of 10. Entering the last blur zone, with the last two covers to be blurry. Remember that after 9 out of 10 covers, I always say, but this isn't the best we got? Well, here, the Flames of Hope is the best I was talking about. 10 out of 10, and no further explanations. In Legends Darkstalker, Darkstalkers, Clear Sights, and Phantom's POVs were great. If we were rating the overall book, it would be a 10 out of 10, but we are rating covers here. A 10 out of 7 since we could have seen more of this cover. And last we have Legends Dragonslayer. A book about scavenger isn't as interesting in a series about dragons. So I totally understand why it's a Legends book instead of one in the overall series. 
I don't have anything else to say except another 7 out of 10. Anyways, like and subscribe and hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.